your voice to the Lord be words. We worship you. Lord, we worship you. We to the urgency of the gospel, obstacles are everywhere. Every day we hear about another business closing their doors, and even churches and ministries are struggling as never before. But no matter the obstacle, the Great Commission still stands. It's not a suggestion, it's a command. People are looking for answers, and they've discovered that government isn't the answer. Money isn't the answer. The only answer for the world today is Jesus. And that's why we need you to help us share that story with the world. God TV has been raised up for such a time as this. This network isn't here because times are easy, but precisely because times are tough. Never in the history of media has there been such a chance to make an impact. Never has there been a greater hunger. And never has there been such a time as this. Jesus, we worship you. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. Your name is holy. You are holy God. You are holy God. You are holy God. You are holy God. There's some of you that are watching right now on God TV and the very power of His glory is reaching out to you right now. Those that are watching at home, you're in your home and you're sensing this realm of the glory. You're sensing the cloud coming down on you even right now. It's coming in your living room and it's coming in your offices and it's coming in your kitchens right now. The glory of God is just beginning to come. And right now I'm hearing the name Lynn and God says, Lynn, there's a new miracle for you. And I see the numbers three, nine, eight, five. That's your address. Oh my God, my God, you said, how did he know that? Because God knows everything. God knows everything. And God said to tell you this, Lynn, that those things that you've been saying, God, you don't understand. And those times that you've been saying, God, you, you can't simply understand what I'm going through. Right now, God says, I know everything. I know what you've been through. I know what you're going through even right now. But don't you know that I've got the miracle for you and it's coming forth in the glory of God. Lynn, continue to press forth in the glory. Continue to praise. Continue to worship. Continue to keep your eyes on Jesus. And the miracles, they begin to come. There's a lot of healing miracles that God is releasing even in the homes right now. Uh, my God, that, that, that miracle for the hip is you right now. You're watching at home and it's happening right now. In your hip, you're getting the miracle. Just take it. God's no respecter of persons. And he's a Lord over distance. He's a Lord over time. And I tell you, he's working miracles for you, right? Now, there's some of you that are watching and you've been wearing glasses and you've been watching. You say something's getting blurry. You think the cloud's coming down. No, your vision's actually been corrected. Even as you're watching right now, your vision's being corrected. You're getting 20-20 vision and, and your glasses are hindering what God is doing. And you take your glasses off right now because you're, you're healed. You're healed. Come on, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. There's a Rebecca and a Tiffany, your sisters, Rebecca and Tiffany. And God is putting an awesome anointing upon your life to sing. 
And there's new songs that are coming even right in your spirit right now as you're watching. There's new songs that are beginning to bubble up. I want to tell you this. Record them. Write them down. What God is doing in you is not just for you, but it's for the nations. And God's going to take your music all over the place. Listen, what God has brought is a small beginning. He is faithful to complete it. He is faithful to finish the good work that he's begun in you. Continue praising, continue singing, and let those songs bubble up. Hallelujah. 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 There's something about your praise that brings forth. The cloud, there's something about the cloud that brings forth the, the rain. I believe God's wanting to increase us in our praise. Because God's wanting to increase us in the rain. I believe that God's wanting to increase us in our praise and our worship because God's wanting to literally increase us in the cloud. Now, do you remember this? Turn in your Bible with me this morning. Turn to Second. Chronicles. Second Chronicles five. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember this in Second Chronicles five, verse thirteen. It says the trumpeters and the singers they joined in unison. It says, as with one voice. To give praise and to give thanks to the Lord. And it says they were accompanied by trumpets and cymbals and other instruments. And it says that they raised their voices in praise to the Lord. And how many know that's what we've been doing today? That's what we're doing in, in this Christian walk, in this Christian life. Everything about us is offering God Praise. Praise is not just a formality. Praise is not just a, a, a ritual or a religious tradition that we follow. But praise is what we do because it's who we are. You can say praise is what I do because it's who I am. God is wanting us to be a living praise. God is wanting us to be a living offering. God is wanting us to be a living sacrifice of praise in all that we say, in all that we do. For when we praise, there's something that begins to change. As we begin to praise, there's something that begins to happen in the atmosphere. Our praise always changes the atmosphere. And it says here in Second Chronicles, it says that the, the trumpeters, the singers, they joined in unison. and they were as with one voice. It says they were giving praise and thanks to the Lord and they were accompanied by all these different musical instruments and they raised their voices in praise to the Lord and they sang this. They said, He is good. His love endures forever. And then the temple of the Lord was filled with a cloud. How many know that the praise came first and then the cloud came next? There's an automatic response that happens. It's a, a supernatural pattern that God has set up in the heavenlies. It's that as we begin to sow to the heavens, God always sows unto the earth. As we begin to give unto the heavens, God gives unto the earth. As we begin to lift up our praise, the cloud comes down and the cloud comes near and the cloud comes within and the cloud comes around. It's an automatic response. You can't praise without the cloud showing up. And that's why God's wanting us to be a praise. That's why God's wanting us to be a worship. Because God's wanting that the cloud of His glory would come everywhere we are in all times and on all situations. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. It says the temple of the Lord was filled with a cloud. And then the priests could not perform their service or do what they had planned to do. Now that's something that happens when the cloud shows up. <laughs> you can't always do what you plan to do. You can't always minister in the way that you've always ministered. When the cloud shows up, you must surrender unto the cloud. 